Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Making Movies Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn words like actor, screenwriter, director, and much more. Download it for free on the inside. Second, the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. This bonus ebook will teach you over 400 words and phrases related to daily activities like waking up, making breakfast, going to work or school, and more. Third, can you talk about fishing in your target language? Learn how to say words like fishing rod, bait, and fishing net with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know online shopping vocabulary. If you like shopping, then you'll want to be able to talk about it in your target language. With this one minute lesson, you'll learn must know words like sale, add to cart, and much more. Fifth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who sees this video. If you watch this far, then here's a free bonus. We're giving all of our users free access to our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 51% off all basic, premium, and premium plus plans with our special Black Friday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. This is Ben Lee and he's at a cafe doing a language exchange with his classmate, Federica Fontana. It's the Italian portion of the exchange, and he points at the textbook and asks, how do you say book in Italian? Come si dice book in Italiano? Listen to the conversation and focus on the question. Ready? Come si dice book in Italiano? Si dice libro. Once more with the English translation. Come si dice book in italiano? How do you say book in Italian? Si dice libro. You say book. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Ben asks, how do you say book in Italian? Come si dice book in Italiano? The standard way to ask for the meaning of a word in Italian follows a simple pattern. First is come, translating as how in this context. Come. Come. Next is Si dice. One says Si dice. Si. One, roughly translating as one, as in one says. Si. Si. Next is the word Dice. Says, as in one says. Dice. Dice. Is from the verb dire. Meaning to say. Dire. Together. Come si dice. Literally, how one says. But translates as how does one say. Come si dice. After this is the English word book. Last is the phrase in italiano meaning in Italian. In Italiano. First is in. 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 After this is Italiano. Italian, as in the Italian language. Italiano. Italiano. Note, when the context is clear, you may omit in Italiano. Altogether, Come si dice book in Italiano? means something like how one says book in Italian, but translates as how does one say book in Italian? And in more natural English, how do you say book in Italian? 
Note the rising intonation of the sentence to mark that it's a question. Come si dice book in italiano? Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Federica says, you say book? Si dice libro. First is the phrase, si dice, which literally means, one says, but translates here as, you say. Si dice. After this is the answer to the question, libro, book. Libro. Libro. Altogether, si dice libro, literally means, one says book. But it translates as, you say book. Si dice libro. The pattern is, Come si dice English word in italiano? How do you say English word in Italian? Come si dice English word in italiano? To use this pattern, simply replace the English word placeholder with the word you want to know. Imagine you want to know the Italian word for pen. Ask, how do you say pen in Italian? Ready? Come si dice pen in Italiano? How do you say pen in Italian? Come si dice pen in italiano? This lesson introduces a grammatically complex but commonly used pattern, the impersonal form with si. The si construction is used to express what people do in general rather than point to a specific person. The pattern is si plus a verb in the third person. The example used in the lesson was si dice. One says, Let's quickly look at a few more examples. Si chiama, one calls, as in, one calls it a book. Si mangia, one eats, as in, one eats a lot at Christmas. Si dorme, one sleeps, as in, one sleeps late on Saturday. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. Come si dice book in italiano? Si dice libro. Come si dice book in italiano? Come si dice pen in italiano? Si dice penna. Come si dice pen in italiano? Come si dice bag? Si dice borsa. Come si dice bag? Come si dice pencil in italiano? Si dice matita. Come si dice pencil in italiano? Come si chiama questo? Si chiama libro. Come si chiama questo? Did you notice how I used a different sentence pattern? Come si chiama questo? What do you call this? Come si chiama questo? This literally means, what does one call this? But it translates as, what do you call this? To create this pattern, simply replace dice says with chiama calls chiama chiama After this, 
Replace the English word with Questo. This. Questo. Questo. Recall In Italiano. In Italian, may be omitted if understood from context. Come si chiama questo? What do you call this? Come si chiama questo? This is a very useful pattern for using Italian to learn Italian. Do you remember the response, you call it a book? Si chiama libro. Again, simply replace dice says with chiama calls chiama si chiama libro. You call it a book. Si chiama libro. Let's review the key vocabulary. Borsa. Bag. Borsa. Borsa. Penna. Pen. Penna. Penna. Matita. Pencil. Matita. Matita. Questo. This. Questo. Questo. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say Italian? Italiano. Italiano. And how to say in Italian? In Italiano. In Italiano. Do you remember how to say how? Come. Come. Do you remember how Ben asks, how do you say book in Italian? Come si dice book in italiano? Come si dice book in italiano? Do you remember how to say book? Libro. Libro. And do you remember how Federica says, you say book? Si dice libro. Si dice libro. Do you remember how to say this? Questo. Questo. And how to say, what do you call this? Come si chiama questo? Come si chiama questo? Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee and you're having a language exchange lunch with Alessia Marino. You point to the pen and ask, How do you say pen in Italian? Ready? Come si dice pen in italiano? Si dice penna. Listen again and repeat. Come si dice pen in italiano? Come si dice pen in italiano? Now you want to know the word for bag. Omit in Italian. 
Ready? Come si dice bag? Si dice borsa. Listen again and repeat. Come si dice bag? Come si dice bag? Let's try one more. Imagine you're Sasha Lee and you're studying with your classmate at school, Martina. You point at a pencil and ask, what do you call this? Ready? Come si chiama questo? Si chiama matita. Listen again and repeat. Come si chiama questo? Come si chiama questo? Ristorante. Restaurant. Ristorante. Ristorante. Restaurant. Le donne stanno mangiando fuori al ristorante. The women are eating out at a restaurant. Le donne stanno mangiando fuori al ristorante. Bar. Caffè. Bar. Bar. Caffè. Dov'è il bar più vicino? Where is the closest cafe? Dov'è il bar più vicino? Caffetteria. Coffee shop. Caffetteria. Caffetteria. Coffee shop. Gli amici stanno insieme in una caffetteria. The friends are hanging out at a coffee shop. Gli amici stanno insieme in una caffetteria. Bar. 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 Carlo non si fa più vedere al bar da quando ha una nuova ragazza. Carlo doesn't show up at the bar since he got a new girlfriend. Carlo non si fa più vedere al bar da quando ha una nuova ragazza. Mobili. Furniture. Mobili. Mobili. Furniture. Abbiamo dovuto sostituire tutti i nostri mobili dopo l'incendio. We had to replace all of our furniture after the fire. Abbiamo dovuto sostituire tutti i nostri mobili dopo l'incendio. Erba. Grass. Erba. Erba. Grass. La pecora sta mangiando l'erba verde. The sheep is eating the green grass. La 
pecora sta mangiando l'erba verde. Terreno, soil, terreno, terreno, soil, un terreno argilloso, a clay soil, un terreno argilloso, fango, dirt, Fango, fango, dirt. Il cucciolo d'elefante sta giocando con il fango in uno zoo. The baby elephant is playing with dirt in a zoo. Il cucciolo d'elefante sta giocando con il fango in uno zoo. Sasso. Rock. Sasso. Sasso. Rock. L'uomo con la veste sta lanciando un sasso. The man in the robe is throwing a rock. L'uomo con la veste sta lanciando un sasso. Albero. Tree. Albero. Albero. Tree. Il koala si sta tenendo all'albero. The koala bear is holding on to the tree. Il koala si sta tenendo all'albero. Taoismo. 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 Il taoismo è conosciuto anche come taoismo. Taoism is also known as Taoism. Il Taoismo è conosciuto anche come Taoismo. Bibbia. Bible. Bibbia. Bibbia. Bible. La Bibbia è il libro più venduto nella storia della civiltà. The Bible is the best-selling book in the history of civilization. La Bibbia è il libro più venduto nella storia della civiltà. Corano Coran, Corano, Corano, Coran. Il Corano è il testo sacro della religione musulmana. The Coran is the holy book of the Muslim religion. Il Corano è il testo sacro della religione musulmana. Prete. Priest. Prete. Prete. Priest. Lui ha ricevuto dei consigli da un prete. He got advice from a priest. Lui ha ricevuto dei consigli da un prete. Giudaismo. 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 
Giudaismo. Il giudaismo è stato praticato per più di 3.000 anni. Giudaismo has been practiced for over 3.000 years. Il giudaismo è stato praticato per più di 3.000 anni. Mille. One thousand. Mille. Mille. One thousand. Questa chiesa è stata costruita mille anni fa. This church was built one thousand years ago. Questa chiesa è stata costruita mille anni fa. Duemila. Two thousand. Duemila. Duemila. Two thousand. Costa duemila dollari. It costs two thousand dollars. Costa duemila dollari. Ottomila. 8.000 8 8.000 8.000 persone vivono in quel paesino. 8.000 people live in that village. 8.000 persone vivono in quel Paesino. Diecimila. Ten thousand. Diecimila. Diecimila. Ten thousand. Diecimila soldati sono stati inviati sul luogo di battaglia. Ten thousand soldiers were dispatched to the site of the battle. 10.000 soldati sono stati inviati sul luogo di battaglia. 4.000 4000 4.000 4.000 lo stadio è di 4.000 metri quadrati. The stadium is 4.000 square meters. Lo stadio è di 4.000 metri quadrati. Rosa. Rose. Rosa. Rosa. Rose. L'uomo sta per dare delle rose alla sua ragazza. The man is about to give roses to his girlfriend. L'uomo sta per dare delle rose alla sua ragazza. Fiore. Flower. Fiore. Fiore. Flower. Il ragazzo sta cogliendo i fiori gialli. The boy is picking yellow flowers. Il ragazzo sta cogliendo fiori gialli. Giglio. Lili. Giglio. Giglio. Lili. Guarda, c'è un giglio. Look there's a lily. Guarda, c'è un giglio. Girasole. Sunflower. Girasole. Girasole. Sunflower. 
I girasoli crescono fino ad altezze di 8-12 piedi. Sunflowers grow to eggs between 8 to 12 feet. I girasoli crescono fino ad altezze di 8-12 piedi. Dente di leone. Dandelion. Dente di leone. Dente di leone. Dandelion. I denti di leone si mangiano in zuppe e in salate in alcuni posti. Dandelions are eating in soups and salads in some place. I denti di leone si mangiano in zuppe e insalate in alcuni posti. Viaggiare. Traveling. Viaggiare. Viaggiare. Traveling. L'hobby dell'uomo è viaggiare. The man's hobby is traveling. L'hobby dell'uomo è viaggiare. Esercitarsi. Exercising. Esercitarsi. Esercitarsi. Exercising. La donna si sta esercitando sul pavimento. The woman is exercising on the floor. La donna si sta esercitando sul pavimento. Allenamento. Workout. Allenamento. Allenamento. Workout. Un allenamento di 30 minuti ogni giorno può migliorare la tua salute. A 30 minutes workout every day can improve your health. Un allenamento di 30 minuti ogni giorno può migliorare la tua salute. Lettura. Reading. Lettura. Lettura. Reading. Espandi il tuo vocabolario con la lettura. Expand your vocabulary by reading. Espandi il tuo vocabolario con la lettura. Giocare a carte. Playing cards. Giocare a carte. Giocare a carte. Playing cards. Noi giochiamo spesso a carte nelle calde serate estive. We often play cards on a warm summer evening. Noi giochiamo spesso a carte nelle calde serate estive. Orecchino. Earring. Orecchino. Orecchino. Earring. Gli orecchini grandi sono di moda. Big earrings are fashionable. Gli orecchini grandi sono di moda. Collana. Necklace. Collana. Collana. Necklace. La collana che sta indossando ha delle belle gemme. The necklace you are wearing has beautiful gems. La collana che 
stai indossando ha delle belle gemme anello ring anello anello ring la donna si sta mettendo un anello di diamanti all'anulare the woman is putting a diamond ring on her ring finger la donna si sta mettendo un anello di diamanti all'anulare boxer boxer shirts boxer 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 shirts i boxer sono un indumento intimo da uomo che è disponibile in molte fantasie e tessuti boxer shirts are an undergarment for men which comes in many patterns and fabrics i boxer sono un indumento intimo da uomo che è disponibile in molte fantasie e tessuti gonna skirt gonna gonna skirt sta indossando una gonna gialla she's wearing a yellow skirt sta indossando una gonna gialla hamburger 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 gli hamburger sono stati inventati in america hamburgers were invented in america gli hamburger sono stati inventati in america cheeseburger 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 un cheeseburger è un hamburger con una fetta di formaggio a cheeseburger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese un cheeseburger è un hamburger con una fetta di formaggio pizza 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 la pizza è un piatto italiano ma è un piatto popolare in tutto il mondo pizza is an italian dish but is a popular dish around the world la pizza è un piatto italiano ma è un piatto popolare in tutto il mondo hot dog hot dog hot dog hot dog hot dog io preferisco gli hot dog al barbecue i prefer hot dogs at the barbecue io preferisco gli hot dog al barbecue mancia tip mancia mancia tip ho lasciato la mancia per la cameriera sul cuscino i left a tip for the maid on the pillow ho lasciato la mancia per 
la cameriera, sul cuscino, campagna, country, campagna, campagna, country. Loro hanno una grande casa in campagna. They have a big house in the country. Loro hanno una grande casa in campagna. Paese. Village. Paese. Paese. Village. Sono cresciuto in un piccolo paese. I grew up in a small village. Sono cresciuto in un piccolo paese. Città. Town. Città. Città. Town. Voglio andare a fare una passeggiata in città. I want to go for a walk in town. Voglio andare a fare una passeggiata in città. Periferia. Suburb. Periferia. Periferia. Suburb. Ho traslocato in periferia l'anno scorso. I moved to the suburb last year. Ho traslocato in periferia l'anno scorso. Camera. Room. Camera. Camera. Room. Un portiere ha portato i nostri bagagli in camera. A porter carried our bags to her room. Un portiere ha portato i nostri bagagli in camera. Bruciatura. Burn. Bruciatura. Bruciatura. Burn. Si è versata l'acqua bollente sulla mano sinistra e ha una bruciatura di secondo grado. She spilled boiling water on her left hand and has a second degree burn. Si è versata l'acqua bollente sulla mano sinistra e ha una bruciatura di secondo grado. Scacchi. Chess. Scacchi. Scacchi. Chess. Gli scacchi sono un gioco di strategia e concentrazione. Chess is a game of strategy e concentration. Gli scacchi sono un gioco di strategia e concentrazione. Lingua. Language. Lingua. Lingua. Language. Il coreano è la lingua ufficiale. Korean is the official language. Il coreano è la lingua ufficiale. Asciugare con il phon. Blow dry. Asciugare con il phon. 
asciugare con il phon. Blow dry. Asciugo i miei capelli con il phon ogni mattina. I blow dry my hair every morning. Asciugo i miei capelli con il phon ogni mattina. Arti marziali. Martial arts. Arti marziali. Arti marziali. Martial arts. Il nostro istruttore di arti marziali ha praticato per 25 anni. Our martial arts instructor has practiced for 25 years. Il nostro istruttore di arti marziali ha praticato per 25 anni. Soddisfatto. Satisfied. Soddisfatto. Soddisfatto. Satisfied. L'uomo è soddisfatto. The man is satisfied. L'uomo è soddisfatto. Calmo. Calm. Calmo. Calmo. Calm. La donna è calma. The woman is calm. La donna è calma. Pettinare. Comb. Pettinare. Pettinare. Comb. I capelli ondulati sono molto difficili da pettinare. Wavy hair are so difficult to comb. I capelli ondulati sono molto difficili da pettinare. Fare i gargarismi. Gargle. Fare i gargarismi. Fare i Gargarismi. Gargle. Faccio i gargarismi molte volte al giorno. I gargle several times a day. Faccio i gargarismi molte volte al giorno. Insoddisfatto. Dissatisfied. Insoddisfatto. Insoddisfatto. Dissatisfied. L'uomo è insoddisfatto del prodotto. The man is dissatisfied with the product. L'uomo è insoddisfatto del prodotto. 5.000. 5.000. Cinquemila. Cinquemila. Five thousand. Cinquemila persone stavano protestando in piazza. Five thousand people were protesting on the square. Cinquemila persone stavano protestando in piazza. Tremila. 3000 3.000. In Perù esistono più di 3.000 tipi di patate. In Perù, more than 3.000 types of potatoes exist. In Perù esistono più di 3000 tipi di patate. 6000. 6000. 6000. 6000. 
6.000. Ci sono circa 6.000 isole in Grecia. There are around 6.000 islands in Greece. Ci sono circa 6.000 isole in Grecia. 7.000. 7,000. 7,000. 7,000. Lei ha venduto 7,000 album. She sold 7,000 albums. Lei ha venduto 7,000 album. 9,000. 9,000 9,000 9,000 truppe si sono ritirate dal paese 9,000 troops withdraw from the country 9,000 truppe si sono ritirate dal paese Proprietario, landlord, proprietario, proprietario, landlord. Il proprietario di casa di mio fratello non accetterà un assegno. My brother's landlord will not accept a check. Il proprietario di casa di mio fratello non accetterà accetterà un assegno. Dormitorio. Dormitori. Dormitorio. Dormitorio. Dormitori. Ho vissuto in un dormitorio per tutti e quattro gli anni dell'università. I lived in the dormitory for all four years of college. Ho vissuto in un dormitorio per tutti e quattro gli anni dell'università. Condominio. Apartment building. Condominio. Condominio. Apartment building. Ci sono 24 appartamenti in questo condominio. There are 24 apartments in this apartment building. Ci sono 24 appartamenti in questo condominio. Città. City. Città. Città. City. Città del Messico è la capitale e la città più popolata del Messico. Mexico City is the capital and most heavily populated city in Messico. Città del Messico è la capitale e la città più popolata del Messico. Fattoria. Farm. Fattoria, fattoria, farm. Le capre stanno giocando nella fattoria. The goats are playing on the farm. Le capre stanno giocando nella fattoria. Tsunami, tsunami, tsunami. 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 Lo tsunami ha colpito la città. The tsunami hit the city. Lo tsunami ha colpito la città. Valanga. Avalanche. Valanga. Valanga. Avalanche. 
La valanga ha distrutto la stazione sciistica, ma fortunatamente nessuno si è fatto male. The avalanche destroyed the sky resort, but likely nobody was hurt. La valanga ha distrutto la stazione sciistica, ma fortunatamente nessuno si è fatto male. Fuoco. Fire. Fuoco. Fuoco. Fire. Il fuoco sta bruciando. The fire is burning. Il fuoco sta bruciando. Terremoto. Earthquake. Terremoto. Terremoto. Earthquake. Il terremoto sta scuotendo il terreno. The earthquake is shaking the ground. Il terremoto sta scuotendo il terreno. Tempesta di sabbia. Sandstorm. Tempesta di sabbia. Tempesta di sabbia. Sandstorm. La tempesta di sabbia si è abbattuta. The sandstorm has touched down. La tempesta di sabbia si è abbattuta. Quanto? Glove. Quanto? Guanto. Glove. I guanti non andavano bene per le sue mani. The gloves did not fit his hands. I guanti non andavano bene per le sue mani. Ombrello. Ombrella. Ombrello. Ombrello. Ombrella. Non ho l'ombrello e sta piovendo. I don't have an umbrella and it's raining. Non ho l'ombrello e sta piovendo. Cappello. Hat. Cappello. Cappello. Hat. Una sciarpa rossa starebbe bene con quel cappello. A red scarf would like nice with that hat. Una sciarpa rossa starebbe bene con quel cappello. A maniche lunghe. Long sleeved. A maniche lunghe. A maniche lunghe. Long sleeved. Le camicie a maniche lunghe vanno bene quando fa freddo. Long sleeved shirts are good for cold weather. Le camicie a maniche lunghe vanno bene quando fa freddo. A maniche corte. Short sleeved. A maniche corte. A maniche corte. Short sleeved. Le camicie a maniche corte vanno meglio quando fa caldo. Short sleeved shirt are better when it's warm. Le camicie a maniche corte vanno meglio quando fa caldo. Doloroso. 
painful, doloroso, doloroso, painful. L'uomo ha un mal di stomaco doloroso. The man has a painful stomachache. L'uomo ha un mal di stomaco doloroso. Timido. Shy. Timido. Timido. Shy. Sono timido. I am shy. Sono timido. Nervoso. Nervous. Nervoso. Nervoso. Nervous. Il nervoso uomo d'affari sta aspettando per un colloquio. The nervous businessman is waiting for the interview. Il nervoso uomo d'affari sta aspettando per un colloquio. Entusiasta. Excited. Entusiasta. Entusiasta. Excited. La ragazzina è entusiasta. The little girl is excited. La ragazzina è entusiasta. Imbarazzato. Embarrassed. Imbarazzato. Imbarazzato. Embarrassed. Sono così imbarazzato. I'm so embarrassed. Sono così imbarazzato. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to boost your motivation and learn more by adding others to the mix. If you're learning a language all by yourself, then you should know that there's a way to boost your chance of success, boost your motivation, your progress. It's simply by including other people in your language learning journey. And in today's episode, you'll discover one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation, and two, how you can apply this tactic to your language learning. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Making Movies Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn words like actor, screenwriter, director, and much more. Download it for free on the inside. Second, the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. This bonus ebook will teach you over 400 words and phrases related to daily activities like waking up, making breakfast, going to work or school, and more. Third, can you talk about fishing in your target language? Learn how to say words like fishing rod, bait, and fishing net with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know online shopping vocabulary. If you like shopping, then you'll want to be able to talk about it in your target language. With this one minute lesson, you'll learn must know words like sale, add to cart, and much more. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to boost your motivation and learn more by adding others to the mix. Part one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation. So first, Here's a question for you. How do you think most people start learning a language? Leave a comment. Most people start learning by themselves. They'll either watch YouTube videos like this, download an app, or if they're a little more serious, buy a textbook. But after the first week or month, most self-learners also end up falling off because of a lack of motivation. 
it's pretty hard to motivate yourself and keep yourself going. It's hard because you have to, one, rely on yourself to motivate yourself, two, do the learning, and three, do the practice. All of this is a lot of work for one person. Sure, there's a small group of super self-motivated people out there that can do it and stick with it, but that's not the case for most of us. So then, if you want to boost your motivation and not have to rely on yourself, that's where you should start getting other people involved in your language learning journey. Just picture a graph where on the y-axis you have motivation, and on the x-axis you have the chance of success. So first you have self-study, and that's probably closest to lower motivation and probably a low chance of succeeding. As you move further to the right where you start involving tutors or joining group classes, the higher your motivation and chance of success becomes. Does this mean motivation is lowest when you're on your own? Yes and no. There are people who are very motivated on their own, but motivation tends to come and go for many of us. And the last thing you want to do is rely on a feeling that may not always be there. But when you start including more personal connections, live interactions, maybe someone you speak with at a cafe, you have more reasons and more pressure to keep on going. For example, if you have a tutor that expects you to do homework and come prepared next time, if you have a language partner whom you want to impress, or if you're in a language class, you want to be better than other students. The point is, the more people you involve, the more anchor points and commitments you have to the language, and these boost your motivation. In psychology, this is called social facilitation, or the audience effect. When you're with other people, or when you think someone is watching you, you put a little pressure on yourself. And for many people, this can have a positive result. But if you're on your own, you wouldn't try so hard. So just to recap, a lot of us start learning on our own. And in the case of language learning, there will always be self-study involved. But if you want to take it to the next level, then you should follow that graph. The only issue is, the more you go up that graph, the more expensive it gets. It's very affordable to learn on your own. Once you start involving others, such as a teacher, it starts getting expensive. So it's up to you as the learner here. So if you're interested in adding a human dynamic, what can you do? Part two, how you can apply this to your language learning. One, give our Premium Plus plan a try and get access to your own teacher. You also get weekly assignments from your teacher, which adds a nice layer of accountability to your learning. Two, enroll in an online class. And this is something we started offering for a few of our major languages, Japanese, English, Chinese, Italian, Korean, French, and Spanish. Three, get an online or in-person tutor. Now, teachers and classes can be pricey, but there are other ways to learn with others. Four, get a study buddy or join a learning community. Learning and competing with others will definitely have a positive impact on your motivation and language progress. Five, simply talk with others about your language goals and your current progress. When you're surrounded by people talking about how much they've learned or what goals they hit or missed, you'll be more inspired to hit your own goals. Six, track your progress and share it on your social media for others to see. For example, if you keep a daily planner, write in, I did three lessons today, or spent 30 minutes on learning a language, and share that. Once you start involving more people in your language journey, whether for learning or for practice, adding that extra human element will boost your productivity and motivation and help you reach your language goals. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a new language in the new year. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Since you're learning the language and coming across new words all the time, do you have trouble remembering new words? If you do, then there's a proven and powerful learning method that'll help you learn new words and phrases fast, easily remember the tough words you struggle with, and get you fluent sooner than later. In fact, all serious language learners use this learning method in one form or another. And the good news is, you can do this all with our flashcards inside of our learning program.
But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Now, how do flashcards help you learn words and phrases faster? These flashcards use something called spaced repetition learning, which is a science-backed learning method that spaces out your learning over time and quizzes you on words at the right times so that you never forget them. Here's how the flashcards work. Once you start learning, they start tracking your progress and sort your cards for you. So the tough words that you struggle with, you'll see them more often in a study session. And the easy words that you get right, they'll start getting spaced out. You'll see them again in two days, then five days, then 13 days, and so on. At which point, these words will start going into your long-term memory, and you'll never forget them. Once you're done with a study session, that's it for the day. Your flashcards will remind you when to study again, so you never forget what you learned last time. So here's how you take advantage of this powerful study tool. Simply access flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. Inside, you already have the 100 must-know words deck prepared for you. Just click on Study and start session to start learning. You'll see a flashcard with the word in the target language. Do you know the meaning? Click on Show Answer to confirm the meaning. Then, mark it as correct or incorrect. Based on your answer, the flashcards will start sorting and spacing out the words for you. Then, move on to the next card in the deck until you're done with the session. You can study with three modes. Recognition, get the word in the target language and see if you know the meaning. Production, get the meaning and see if you know it in the target language or listening. Hear the word or phrase and see if you know the meaning. Choose one, two, or all three modes of learning. You can create flashcard decks from key phrases presented in lessons, the 2000 core word list, words saved in your word bank, and our free vocab list. Want to see how many words and phrases you've mastered? Visit My Stats for your daily, weekly, and monthly progress breakdown to see your personal study stats. So take advantage of the smart flashcards right now. The top 100 must-know words deck is already ready and waiting for you. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you want to learn your target language with our learning program, and if you're wondering which plan to choose, then today you'll discover how our premium plan helps you master the language with one clear learning pathway to follow, which makes sticking with learning easier than ever, special lessons that get you speaking and understanding conversations in minutes from beginner to advanced, and over 15 study tools that will lock the language into your brain. But first, if you don't have access to our language learning program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Now, how does the premium plan help you learn a language faster? One, you get one simple learning pathway of lessons to follow. If you've always felt that language learning is overwhelming because there's so much to do, reading, writing, speaking, listening, and vocabulary, and there's no clear path to take, well, you're not wrong. So that's exactly why you get one learning pathway with our program. The learning pathway is simply a pathway of lessons for you to take. Meaning you now have a clear path to follow instead of wondering about how you should learn the language or what to do next. Just follow the pathway, take the lessons and complete the assessments from lesson one to two to three and from the absolute beginner level up to advanced. Now let's talk about the lessons themselves. Second, you learn the language fast with audio and video lessons, which means you won't be reading walls of text here. Our audio and video lessons are easy to finish and allow you to absorb the language as you listen or watch. Plus, you get exposed to native speech, something you won't get in textbooks. So press play on a lesson. You'll learn a practical conversation, get every word and grammar rule explained by our teachers, and start speaking in minutes. All of this takes minutes because lessons are just a few minutes long, so you can learn fast and in small blocks of time, whether on your computer or with our app if you're on the go. The lessons alone are enough to get you speaking, but to make sure you practice and retain the language, you can use our study tools. Third, you get 15 plus premium study tools that lock the language into your memory and help you learn faster. Here's a small taste of what you can do. 
You can practice speaking and perfect your pronunciation with the voice recorder. Reach conversational fluency with our 2,000 most common words list. Master words and phrases fast with our spaced repetition flashcards. Read along with the lesson notes to help the grammar rules sink in faster. Understand everything instantly with the translations. Sharpen your listening skills with the line-by-line -line audio for each lesson. Immerse yourself in native conversations with the dialogue tracks. Test yourself on what you've learned with assessments and much more. So if you want to learn your target language and if you don't have access to our learning program, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account and you'll get a free seven day trial to our premium plan.